You are welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to develop the truncated cone that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen. Right? So, the first thing you do is for you to reproduce the figure that you can see on the screen. So, that is what I will do. So, I will start by drawing this vertical line fit line and that should represent my center line this way this long short long short long short long short and so on right and i will now measure the height given shown here to be of what of 52 so if i start from here depending on you this is zone zero, right? Now see this is where I'm starting from from zero here down to fifty-two. Yeah. Then at that point I will now draw an horizontal line. This way. You can start from anywhere. Right? So I'm starting from here to this point fifty-two. So this point I'm starting from will be my point what point a right take note now the thickness is given to be 40 diameter of 40 that will tell you that the, the base is what circular if you see in this particular symbol it means the, the, um, the base is what is circular so i'll take half of what of 40 which is 20 from 0 to 2 is 20 and i'll come here now place it here at the center at this point and I'll mark 20 to the left and 20 to the right. Then I will now take that chip from here to that point A. I'll draw a front line first. I'll take again from here to the same point A. I'll draw another front line to here. Can you see that? Meaning that from here to here is 40. So since the arrow here you see is telling that this side there is where my seam is, I will turn the here to be what? 0. 0.0. Alright? Now let's see. Now the next one is the height from where it is being truncated is 16. Right? From where it is being truncated is what? It's 16. So I'm going to measure 16. Alright? So what I want to do from 0, I will measure 10. This is 16 here. Can you see that? And I will use my C square and project that point to touch the sides of what? Of that triangle you see, of the cone. Now I will not take my, since they say the angle you see here is 45 degree, so I will not place my 45 degree C square, then I will move it on my C, my T square. And now from this point, the angle here is what, 45. So I'll connect from this point straight down to this point. So that is an angle of what, 45 degree. Then I will now take in all the remaining sides. Because that's the shape I am looking for. Can you see that? So this is the shape we have successfully reproduced out. Now the next thing is for we to draw the circular base, just like we've been doing since the base is what is circular. So I can easily take from here to here and place it here. And if I should get this point right can just get a little point here and i'll just you can see what i'm doing at any given point right and i'll just draw this hope you can see that i'll just do that
right so once you've done that you can now divide this particular circle into equal parts into how many parts 12 equal parts into 12 equal parts to place it here and i got that so with the same radius I can come here from here i'll mark here i also come to this point i'll mark i'll come to this point also here i'll mark left and i'll mark right can you see that then i'll take my instrument and I'll pass it from each of those points I marked on the circumference to pass through the circle, the center of the circle, this way. This way. And this way also. Right? Can you see that? Now this will be zero, like I said, zero, one, one, two, two, three, three, is four, four, five, five, then six. Right? Then the next step is for me to start um projecting each of those numbered parts to touch the base of this cone so from this base here i'll move this to touch from the next base i'll move to touch the next one again i'll move to touch the next one again i'll move to touch the next one again i'll move to touch and the last but not the least here almost a touch so it means that you can see it closely this is 0 1.0 now since this point is projected to touch the apex of this cone every other point will be projected to touch the apex of that cone so look at what i'm going to do so i'm going to move all these points to touch the apex move this two to touch the apex move this two to touch the apex will you do this when we're dealing with pyramids and cone to touch what the apex can you see that now where each of these points touch the apex i'll call it this is point zero this is point one two three four five and what six if i want to do that so let's proceed now the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to pick any given point here let's say this is the point i want to pick I can never do, do it here also just pick this point all right so you pick a point any point of your choice so i want to pick this point this point i'm picking representing my point a the apex which is here right now i will now project it upward this way that my apex can you see that then i will now take the distance from this point straight down to this point can you see that so from the apex to zero so meaning that from zero here from apex A, I'm going to draw my arc this way. Hope you can see what I'm doing. So that point apex here, then I will now take from that point, choose any point from this. You can start from here, right? The highest point, I can just come here, here will be six. So meaning that, from A to what? To 6. 
So I will now take the two different distance from here. This is 0 to 1 or 1 to 2. So now place it on that 6 and you start marking 1, 1, the next point, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here also you do the same thing. 4, 5, 6, just like that. So we'll move and we'll start laboring. Right? So if this is 6, I will just have this to be, since I'm opening from here, right? So this will be my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Now you move this point to touch the apex here. This line you are drawing, all these lines, I'll move them to touch this way. And what we have can you see what I'm doing now let's start moving if I should start from the apex a here see what I'm doing now from apex a here to zero right from apex a to zero I'll come to APS A and I'll mark on the line of zero. This is zero and this is another zero. That'll be the first point. I'll come again if I move from the apex of A to one. I'll come to the line of one. This is the line of one and I'll mark one here and another one here. If I come from the apex here to two, I'll come to A here, I'll mark on the line of 2, and on the line of 2, if I come from the apex here, right, and I go to 3, I'll come on this point, I'll mark on the line of 3, and also on the line of 3, right, is the line of 3, and this is the line of 3. If I come from the apex A to 4, I'll come to this point here, I'll mark on the line of 4, on the line of four, right is the line of four here, and I'll come to the from the apex also to five, and I'll come to this A here, I'll mark on the line of five, and also on the line of five. Then the last but not the least, six. I'll come here and I'll mark on the line of what six. Can you see that? So what I will do is I am going to now tick in this all this place here. Is the base and it's ticking why because from 0 to 6 is ticking so I'm going to tick in all this base I can easily use my hand if I want to you can see that and I will join from here to here. But well, use your French curve, don't use your hand. Hmm? So this join this right and use your French curve. I can virtually use my hand here, but use your French curve is important to so join the first three points this way. Come here also, you know, that three point this way, right? And come here to uh, that three point here, this way, and that three point here, this way.
Then we have these two. Can you see that? It depends on how you want it. This is the development of this shape here. You see, this is what we have. Now, the reason why I'm this from here to here is here to here and here to here. Why all this base here is what you're seeing here. So if they say here is the same. Same is one point where you join two things together. So the same means that this is where you are cutting it from. You're using your scissors or your cutting tool to open it up from here. And you're now spreading it out. So this is what you're going to be having when you spread it out. Right? So um, if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.